we move back about Jenny and Chana, so we no dance. Say we now run a UTA. Now we shall be brave. We shall be subscribe. Watch it. No one may come and die. I quit. And then come and die. No, I had the idea. The baby's here. I want to die. See, see, you do the age of telecommunication. Age technology. See, see. Ah, we be in the future. No phone. No. Ah, age WhatsApp, Instagram, and the other social media. And then come and be brave. In the moment, you see. The woman, na. When your email be, especially WhatsApp group, no, maybe they are sending us a target, Walmart, or more sales, will be be so. Maybe a a grow a new share, a links will be they are sending. You name they all click here, baby echo. A cyber security one semana, and a yeah, baby. The way a obey ya obey ball, or the name who buy a at least information will phone so no. Be any paboni be a any we ana on phone call a the paboni be a entia. And no one said, and here, but I will say they will be preventing about cyber security. Information will be beano, will be to me, I shall be a crown one. Uncle Trina, a jack, uncle click a link, be as well, who here beana will be uncle uncle here, not information, or they do bonnet and our duty them. In your branch, you are gonna community more about cyber security there or yardy. We name all name Debbie Bray. Internet, you never have a church in Como, no actually, and the way you see between your boy and home buying it, Eja. It may eat home free, that's about security scam, maybe be a no link being a scammer. How do you know, say we are scam, and I say we follow up. But Mammy Cramming home, Namin Jen Cratto, Sammy Bar, may open here the Nedi and Como and Atlas so Tremmy, the bass is here. Your friend, or Huma Afakuma, Kaswa on a shed, Jen Namin Channel. Hey, what's up, lovely people? This is a pumbo. David coming to you all the way from Accra and I want you to keep tuning into the Jinami YouTube channel in Dallas. God bless. You a team for you that some more train. Ah, yeah, dear come on in Babet to us. Ah, Rapini, you know, you're more cobble Jinami channel. So, maybe I'm a dash. Ah, Jinami channel, dear, with me, could treat me cabrofo. Yeah. Your channel idea, you keep your whole community more hentino. Ah, we will be now watching the old year. Ah, okay. And so I'm a chassis, you know, medical, actually, my health for BBR, maybe, you know. I like to greet all my viewers all over the world, wherever you're watching me from. A big greetings to you. And uh, my name is Frank Asamoah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, then how are you? Oh, I'm a tech pro. I'm into cyber security. Okay. And I've been uh, practicing cyber security for the past. Let's say six years, but I've been in IT for about twelve years. Twelve years, but I've, yeah. Good now. Why cyber security? I don't know to so you know. Okay. This guy who man answered, you are passionate and answered it. Yeah, I've always loved cyber security from uh, I think I can trace it back to two thousand eight, okay. two thousand eight when uh, one of my lecturers. Taught uh, information system security. Okay. And uh, from the look of things, from the onset of the program, I fell in love with the course from the first day mm -hmm. to the last day. And from that day, I told myself I'll be doing cyber security. So that brings me to this far. Yeah. So my interest can be <laughs> like can be drawn to like about since 2008. Mm -hmm. I just fell in love with yeah. cyber security. And, then uh, cyber security entry level no requirement in Tibia, I'm presuming Yibia, the entry level requirement, saying it and wants them to. Ah, all right. Uh, I could say the entry level requirement is your passion and your perseverance. Okay. Yeah, IT is one of the few fields in the world that you could enter with no, no, like, no degree. degree. Okay. Yeah. So, like, there are many professional certifications. And then also many short courses that you could take once you take okay. to enter into the field. So depending on your interest and perseverance, one could easily get into cyber security or transition into cyber security. Okay. The duration of the study, you know, uh, how was the duration? Oh, well, I could say the duration, I cannot be specific because it all depends on which track that one chooses and 
the type of uh, curriculum or education I like to track that one chooses uh, because there are so many courses in cybersecurity and I could say it ranges from one month minimum of one month oh, okay. to years depending on where you want to reach in your career but there are some short courses mm -hmm. that one can take to transition into the field like let's say there are a lot of boot camps and uh, some short okay. programs accelerated programs that may be like three months to six months one could be fully prepared to take a cyber security job so what are some of the places where are some of the places you say you can work and this question most everyone <laughs> <laughs> asks me such question and uh you know we live in a a, a tech world and tech has been evolving uh at a fast pace okay. and basically everything that we do now about like we say about 70 percent of the daily tasks of human beings relies on computers and the internet yeah yeah so for instance you testing like two maybe communication one could just simply go to his email and send a message to everyone in the world you could quickly make a phone call yeah. and speak to everyone in the uh, within the globe mm -hmm. make video calls and you know you perform transactions banking transactions we do online shopping on, 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 on our phone or on the computer so basically everything relies on the on the internet and as everything relies on the internet that you could human beings could use the internet or the computers to do everything it means our jobs can be found everywhere no matter the the, the area or the domain mm -hmm. like the area I think every area needs cyber security yeah yeah every job or every company needs a cyber security personnel and even not uh, job specific everyone also needs cyber security for himself him or herself you need to know cyber security security they see a watchman and it's all the cyber and account on it say as in the internet watchman and I say send you any a career no a juma no send you hotel uh what can say uh internet watchman main 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 you are not to bonnet okay okay this one and a crack yeah but Meet me to the beach. What can you? Okay. Yeah, it goes beyond. Uh, say, we are internet uh, security and asset watchman. Okay. All right. Like you can. The brother Kassem say you can't cyber security. I would like to make it simple so that everyone could, uh, and even the layman could understand and ask get an overview of what cyber security really means. Uh, like cyber security can is the like the art and science yes. of protecting data uh, devices. Uh, information and maybe networking and computers from unauthorized access or for like yeah from un unauthorized access and moreover the practice of uh, achieving confidentiality, mm -hmm. integrity and availability. These are the core concepts of cyber security. That is normally terms are the CIA mm -hmm. of security. Okay. Confidentiality, integrity and uh, availability. So confidentiality can be described as you know protecting like information from unauthorized access. For instance, you have a credit card mm -hmm. and I have to protect your credit card. Like yes. maybe I'm a banking or a financial institution and I'm, I'm, I'm giving a credit card to my customers or my client. Mm -hmm. That card has to be protected and his transactions has to be protected in any way that it may not fall into the hands of the wrong or the bad guy. Okay. So that can be confidentiality, like protecting one's information. And the integrity part is a, uh, Protecting, uh, can, integrity can be termed as, you know, protecting or guarding data from being massaged okay. or, or from being compromised. For instance, in case maybe you, you go online and make trying to make a transaction, mm -hmm. maybe you're you're buying maybe a computer on the internet, you're buying trying to buy a mobile phone mm -hmm. on the internet, and on the uh, on the amounts place you maybe you type one thousand mm -hmm. dollars, and maybe someone in the middle types maybe in case there's an attack okay. and someone types maybe two thousand dollars it has breached the integrity of that transaction and that trans transaction can be null and void it has been compromised so that is why we try to achieve as cyber security professionals we try to protect our customers or like uh, like yeah people's information from being tempered okay yeah so what is being sent or what is being transacted should be like information in transit should be the same when it arrives 
Right. And when you talk about availability, sometimes you do hear, sometimes you try to perform transactions, maybe try to assess, you try to assess a system, and maybe the system might be having some downtimes. Maybe you try to go to a bank to maybe perform a, a transaction, they'll tell you maybe a, a network not equal, yeah, or the, yeah. the system is not good, yeah, or the network is bad. Yeah. That is called, uh, like in that case, the availability of the data of that, or that transaction or the business have been in some way compromised. So we make sure that data is available when it is assessed. So every time that data is needed or a transaction is needed, that information or data has to be available to the authorized users. That is what we term as uh, uh, availability. So these are the core fundamentals. We have others called non repudiation but these are a little bit technical. So when you decide to delve deeper into cyber security, mm -hmm. that's when you decide like you get to know the other yeah, stuff. But these are the core fundamentals of cyber security. That's the CIA, CIA. not the Central Intelligence Agency, <laughs> but confidentiality, yeah, integrity, and availability. That's CIA yeah. and cyber security. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I know you made mention of security on our phones, on your line, our computers, and everything. How do you avoid being scammed online? Like, say, Bia, once I would protect it, or phones and here, or BBR, or inter, or computer, and BBR. Or no? mm -hmm. better, no one who say, Ah, I do, yeah, link here, make way, and a site here, make to a day. Me information on BBR, they are there for fraud. Or better, no one who say, As a consumer. No? Oh, well, uh, me that's it. Uh, I would like to. Uh, patching some few terms, technical terms. I hope we are a little bit uh, they are in the known. We have something called, we have some people called hackers. Okay. I hope everyone knows yeah. who a hacker or we've heard the word, mm -hmm. a hacker. So I'll, I'll try to touch on hackers, uh, malicious code and vulnerabilities okay. before I go to your question. Okay. So if you know the trust that kind of like if you know your trust then you can know how to better in a, be in a good position to protect yourself so for instance hackers are the bad guys who try to or the evil guys who try to uh, take advantage or take opportunity in the, uh, in the floor of a software or a hardware device so for instance in case you have a computer that maybe that can that computer you may be using like that, that computer might be old and maybe some of the systems or the, uh, the softwares on it might not be fully piped or fully updated okay. or it lacks some, you know, some technical software vulnerabilities. Uh, it can cause, uh, they, they, they take up advantage of that weakness or that flaw in your system and they try to attack you. So these are the bad guys, are the hackers. So I also talk on malicious code. Malicious code are also like, can also be known as, uh, they are like scripts or codes that these attackers or hackers do Right, then they normally take advantage of the weakness in systems. So once there's a weakness in systems or the weakness of people, for instance, they have something called social engineering. So once you, uh, you your your staff or people are not trained to know when and how when not to click on links, okay. you know right. that's when the, the the malicious code capitalizes on the weakness of people. So in this, once you click on this on this links, it, it comes. It's gonna hack uh, like uh, you know affect your systems and compromise your data or yeah compromise the data. Virus yeah no it is brought under malicious code we have viruses we have worms we have trojan horses yeah, and there's a lot and and worms yeah worms trojan horses there's a lot, a lot they are all they can all be classified under malicious code but sometimes when you say malicious code people normally refer to as viruses but it goes beyond viruses we have worms and other stuff which are very more even more powerful than yeah. what uh, the viruses could do to our systems and i also touch on the uh, vulnerability and vulnerabilities uh, are just like uh, the weaknesses in systems. Mm -hmm. So once your system is not fully updated, sometimes you know, uh, we, most of you guys, well, like you get using an iPhone mm -hmm. or maybe using an iPhone, uh, maybe an Android device. Sometimes we, we, we normally get uh, notifications Please. that maybe I you guess. have to update your software, yeah. something like that. So to you normally these softwares or these upgrades come with uh, security, uh, like new or updated security protocols okay. that helps to improve or better the security functionality of our system. Okay. So once the systems are weak, then it makes it vulnerable for the attackers and the malicious good to capitalize on that. So now I'll get back to your question that how do one protect himself from like these camps and links and online and that stuff. All right, uh, I'll first 
touch on greediness. Okay. Sometimes I think you don't have to be too greedy. I always try greedy <laughs> because you can get a link online that click on this link to maybe mm -hmm. win five thousand yeah, dollars. You know, Walmart, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> there's no free lunch. In, there's no free lunch. Yeah. So like I think you have to avoid being greedy. Okay. And you know also be suspicious of you know uh, unexpected meals mm -hmm. because there are some meals that you, you, you least expected that you yeah. least expected them. So in case you see these meals in your mailbox, you don't have to worry yourself clicking on that. That's one way of protecting yourself from uh, from these. Uh, and it's, there's a technical word called social engineering, okay. and it's also efficient scam or efficient campaign. And once you click on that, uh, you're going to get yourself your data or your system being compromised. Yeah, and it might end up losing a lot, or you know, it cause more harm than good to your system. So. Uh, being suspicious of unwanted meals is one part and also moreover i also urge or entreat everyone to try to update his or her system regularly okay. try to update your system so you can even make uh, the uh, the update like uh, like put an old old, old, old like old auto yeah, yeah. Like auto. so in case maybe there's an update your machine will automatically update to the latest um, Security, yeah, like like the latest update from that or the latest patch mm -hmm. from the manufacturer or from the vendor. And that's one way. You were about to ask if, me a question. If you put the update, mm -hmm. let's say this uh, hackers attackers, they also send links and all that. Mm -hmm. So I think if you put on update automatically, a bit updating, you know, updating uh, information so because so when your notification now stream now for say ah link EDM said me I said me. Me, uh, me want to let me say a link, Papa. Me update here. Yeah. How do you judge this two? All right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I get your question very well, and mm -hmm. I think uh, that's a very good question. You know, uh, once you know there are configurations or like there are some settings that uh, comes with the operating systems, or maybe on like every software that you purchase, mm -hmm. there are some like some settings or some activations that one could do. For instance, on your Windows computer, or maybe on your Apple as iOS or Mac operating system, there are some areas that you can make auto uh, like auto updates, and your machine can always respond to the update when that system or that vendor activates that update yeah so there's no cause for alarm okay. like you know just being scared there's no cause of alarm your machine will only update when the manufacturer or the vendor releases an update okay. and moreover like softwares you may have your maybe uh, uh, video editing software media software any software that you can mention or you can name yeah these softwares have automatic updates and once you update them your system will only respond to the update when you have allowed them so there's no cause for alarm with respect to these updates yeah it's okay so share me a genius channel and what's so good so your name is mr frank and a uh, bonk or chain ideas cyber security they are bit me a protecting information because they say phones are you crying a so on a bank transactions you near my baby a ton line near my baby sometimes phone you cry oh boy credit card first number na na at the address information you know automatically i see your phone is solid that across phone so fast so at the vi at the end you might be brave you in touch and how to avoid all those things now young cotton man you must say there will be mfa is sick and yes but you have to ask a year say you say what's up you want to know your link oh target a promotion what my a promotion just click it those link you know a year now your papa all right because uh who's our link in this anime and i'm gonna uh defensive uh like try to get a decent defensive mindset okay yeah and cyber security okay. you have to make sure you say bb abi hubi ano fana se enye fana se enye and you can Prove it, but you can only prove to detect whether a link is good or bad when you have been trained in the field. So, in case you lack training in the field, I will entreat you to just uh, ignore those links. Yeah, you remember my, my, my earlier statement I said, do not be greedy. Do not be greedy, and there's no free lunch everywhere. So, do not be greedy. No one will just send you five thousand dollars. That person sent you five thousand. No, he has family members. Remember, he has family members. If there was to be a five thousand and call, remember the family members. No, in no, so. so just don't try to be greedy. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, don't try to be greedy. <laughs> okay, uh, and you asked me, uh, 
how people can protect uh, mm -hmm. their systems. Yeah, their system. I was not done with that mm -hmm. part. Yeah. Okay. Also, moreover, you like people like to download free softwares. Okay. And a software, so you have paid softwares and you have freewares. Freeware and uh, softwares are. They are free. They are freely online. You can just download them without any purchase. You have a bunch of them on the internet. But in case you want such freeware, I try to download from the from the vendor's website. Okay. The vendor's website and not any other link. Because in case maybe you want to download a video like maybe VLC. VLC is one of the most one of the popular media players. You can use the media, video, player. Yeah, media players. Yeah. Yeah. So in case you want to download VLC player, go to VLC.org or something like that. I think you can verify their website online. Okay. And just go directly to your website and download it. But do not download it from any link. Because the bad guys are there and they have hidden, they have there is something called stenography in cybersecurity. When people try to embed or hide documents or codes into uh, like an object or like an original file yeah. to deceive people. So so to prevent yourself from all this harm, like from all, all this stuff, just go to the manufacturer's site and download it. And in case you need maybe you want to you want to maybe you need my uh, Windows 11 or you need Windows 10. You don't have to go to a different site to download Windows 10 or Windows 11. Microsoft is the official vendor. They are the manufacturer. They are the producers of Windows. They are the producers of Office Office programs. They have a lot. Go to their website. The file is there. You just have to sometimes just have to pay some token. Just pay for stuff. Try to pay for like in case you want an antivirus program. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of fake antivirus programs online. These antiviruses might even carry viruses themselves yeah. so in order to prevent yourself from all this stuff just try to maybe you can uh, just try to go there to the website the original site and just download these files you have to be safe from the uh, from the scammers and from the bad guys and also moreover on your system on your personal computer try to get a very good operating system uh, like a very good antivirus system get a very good there are a lot of antiviruses that you can just explore you know the, we have uh, Fortinet, uh, Fortinet, we have Avast, we have McAfee, yeah. Ka uh, Kaspersky, there are a lot of, yeah, lot of them on the know. internet. Yeah. So you can just go on Google and type the top 10 antiviruses or the top 20. You can get a list of these antiviruses and you can compare their strengths and weaknesses. But the top 10, any of them is a very good software that you could jump on it. But try to get the, from the, the software from the vendor site and not anywhere else to prevent yourself from uh, these future scams or threats and other stuff. And uh, moreover, trying to protect your system from, uh, in case you normally use your system for transactions, you know, we all use our system for transactions. You go to eBay, Amazon, you know, Walmart, you buy stuff online, you make orders, you go to Macy's, you do all this stuff. Try to normally, uh, and especially those people with official YouTube accounts, mm -hmm. you know, YouTubers, sometimes you hear that your hacking account, you yeah. could hear this stuff, mm -hmm. this popular Instagram, Instagram celebrities and other stuff, yeah. their accounts are being hacked and other stuff. Yeah. And there's one, there's, one, there's one way to prevent yourself from all this, all this stuff. And you can try to implement a two-factor authentication. Mm -hmm. yeah. Two-factor authentication is sometimes, you know, like going online, mm -hmm. you've entered your password, and you can get a test or maybe a code be okay. uh, on your system in your phone mm -hmm. that enter this code uh, to get access to your to your page or to your email or to your something like, you know to, to your to get access yeah, to get access, to get access, access yeah. yeah so try to and these websites or these major files uh, companies do offer two factor and so you just have to go on the settings and activate it Absolutely. so that you could maybe sign on with your phone and once your phone number has been attached to it, no one can Nobody easily can. get access to your account except yeah. you, the sole, you are the sole person yeah. that may have that phone number. Yeah. So it's also a way of preventing yourself from being scammed and you know getting your accounts, getting hired and other stuff. So I think that's this is one of the few ways, but it's a lot. Maybe some other time you could go yeah, deeper to discuss about all this stuff. But uh do they know the person they are attacking? So omu nim nipa na omu attacking and omu monitor no mo se akwa we bi atoni am online pa akwa we o we bi o si kasem o suru be bre. And I say in general omu do omu fresh around there omu be nyani bi and I say omu share that was specific people will be omu attack you. Um, I, 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 the hackers, uh, the hackers, that's a good question uh, I could say uh, every attacker knows his target Okay. every attacker knows his target so maybe now. the attacker might be targeting a group of people mm -hmm. we have a lot of you know for example we have inefficient campaigns fishing is one of the popular ways that uh, 
the attackers used to scam or you know attack people when fishing you have a term a technical word called spear fishing okay. and spear fishing is when you're trying to attack a specific group of people okay. and you know moreover in hacking in hacking no the first the first phase hacking as a process mm -hmm. it involves faces okay. the first phase is called uh, information gathering okay. and information gathering is when you try to gather information about your target your target person mm -hmm. your target group so they do have their target okay. they do have their target okay. because information gathering is the first and most important step you know, the important phase in hacking so they do know I could say from the technical point of view because I'm a hacker myself but I'm, a t I'm an ethical hacker I've been trained to be an ethical hacker and as an ethical hacker I can hack systems when I don't have the authorization so companies can hire me to hack their systems and I do that to prove that their systems meet their company or their infrastructure meets the standards and are well to do so you have ethical hackers and you have unethical, un unethical hackers so these unethical hackers are the bad guys they do for say, sugar reasons you can also be a hacker but in a professional way and can still be making good amount of money can still be making good of a money so i would say instead of going the wrong way you can still do the right thing and make good amount of money yeah, so, yeah. okay oh yes cyber security expert cd be a big way so i'm sending you be any message on my phone as well Oh, we are waiting there who say, Yeah, I mean, I'm sending and I say, Yeah, social media, uh, near me, a course around the Ubia video, maybe Ubia share, no Bia share. What me who Nipa no share, a mile? There is a way, uh, okay. cyber security. Set me to your question, I see, yeah, say, be a na, a be a sorry to say, maybe you'll be a nude videos be a leaky. Correct. Maybe a qua out, na, a be a Ubia and Saka, and then now we'll be sad there, make me like I say, uh, yes. Okay, but we'll it involves some technicalities okay. because uh, it involves forensic uh, forensic examination okay. and cyber security is, is a very broad domain okay. and one could go into cyber forensics and a lot there are so many domains so depending on the area you know yeah you can determine where the source is coming it's from coming but from. normally you know i could say these stuff are being handled by those at the national level okay. for example maybe the fbi and mm -hmm. this because they may have access to a national database and which may not access to the anchor for like where it came from but okay. maybe someone shared information from maybe maybe let's say i'm here in dallas mm -hmm. and someone shared information from maybe germany mm -hmm. or maybe from new york it will be difficult for me as an individual person mm -hmm. because i will need some authorization okay and maybe at the national level you know so it's very difficult but for those at the top or at the national level like the fbi and the, you know they, will, they, they can be in a very good position but it's possible, it's possible. that's what i can say post to post to did your penny be at now for say to baby when you are one we see a ball point okay good meaning some of your classes oh online you know with me a classes no one's mk crash oh okay yeah well uh classes are yeah yeah but you know your teacher programs be so a go a quema and to be a maker say and can do any better to feed me okay now it do why the memo be asked what to say be a while we need to sell better cyber security be allo who bet me a contact you know maybe me number enemy email so no a bit just a be a in case uh obese who know more about it's a bit me afraid and you know number no i have three four seven Eight one nine nine four four three. Where there is one more US, but in case you be outside US, I just saw the plus one any kind. So plus one, then three four seven eight one nine nine four four three. Okay. Yeah. Send so, no, uh, Zoom, right? Into no. Zoom there. and WhatsApp. You can contact me on WhatsApp okay. or just call me. Also call me directly and uh, or send me a message and I'll be available yeah. to okay. get back to you. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Oh, advice be a person of my na yen yen na yen sorry so if you advise be a person of my community na ba sabi screen di be yen na be boy hong ba be a. Right, all right. Me dasi pa me ni ame kase. Uh, real fee a baby. Ah, na me person me kan, but ebi a wa uti fi a ohe me na ube kai. Mpe ni fosi se mo eni na dani omu hu se jate o se 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 bo. Real fee a bo akro. Ah, na wa an dani be a. Ombe dani a bo na baba be real. Enti no like. As I said earlier on, we basically do everything on the internet, on our phones, on, on the computers. 
So, and uh, as we are doing everything on the internet and the computers, you know, we are getting exposed because the internet is a public network. And, you know, uh, cyber security has so many good opportunities for everyone. And I think, uh, even as I said earlier on, even if you don't work with cyber security, you need cyber security for yourself. No matter your field, your current profession, your current field, you know, you need cyber security training because you are online and you are exposing yourself. Once you log into the internet, you're on the free internet, you're on the free network, and anything can, can happen to you. So you have to make sure so at least you have you know some basic cyber security training uh, in your arsenal so that you could be able to protect yourself whilst enjoying your yourself online or having fun online because if we, if we normally we play games online we do our shopping we do almost everything online on the on the internet and trying to know some basic security concepts yeah will also help to protect and prevent you from online scam and other stuff and uh, moreover in case you're also interested to switch or transition into cyber security, no matter your field, you know, no matter your your current domain, it's still possible to transition to cyber security. All you need is your perseverance and your you know your perseverance and your interest. I think you can make way to cyber security, and you know and you also have the opportunity to get some flexible jobs because most of these cyber security jobs are also remote. And uh, you could be working from home whilst also taking good care, getting the opportunity to get, take good care of your family. And uh, I think the last but not the least, good money. Fajan. The money is also good. So whilst enjoying your field and enjoying your career, helping to protect people's information. Yo, Mr. Frank, you yeah, that's I mean, shall be braced. Yeah, we need the answer the whole community. Now, what they doing here? We need to be able to last words be what we have for, but we need to be able to last words be a. Yeah, it's a bit me. I'm an alcohol. I'm not sure. 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 The cost involved on our sanity. All right, we need to make us a honey in a derby. Okay. Because there are so many tracks. I am not okay with being going to cyber security. Sometimes you think, say, you have to go to the university. Okay. Now, when you have this degree, you have the idea. You're going to pile up to the students and other stuff. And to me, I never advise anyone because, as I, I said earlier, on the cyber security for IT is one of the few fields that you can enter okay. without any formal like university or college education. Okay. There are some short courses and you know some accelerated programs that you can take, which are very affordable okay. that one can take. And in case you are interested, just contact the number that I gave, mm -hmm. and I, I will print one more time. That is plus one for the uh, for those calling outside the US. 347 819 Okay. Plus one, 347 819 mm -hmm. We can reach out to me and we can continue, continue on from there. The final words. Alright. Nah, yeah, sorry, so now, huh? Alright, so my final words. Uh, like I said, it's never too late to join the train to cyber security. The train is moving and you can still hop on to cyber security. It's never too late and uh, there are so many jobs. Uh, like on our careers in IT that we especially do we in the diaspora could jump on because uh in our by you know university like nursing medical field and it's good we can say you'll be on nursing and yet as a go medical field and yeah but that is not the only career that we could jump on. Cyber security is also a good career Another option. And the money that is also a very good option. The money is good and you can enjoy a flexible work experience and you also have good time for your family. So I would encourage each and everyone to also consider in case you to considering some careers to uh, explore and also to jump on mm -hmm. I will try to put cyber security in your back end list and you will never regret your decision, decision. joining the cyber train. <laughs> okay, good. You never regret joining the cyber train. Yeah, that yeah, bro. Penny, yeah, Mr. Frank, I say, yeah, that I say, be brave, say, and also then name the whole community, name the boy, and say, a juma be brave, oh, and also need the oh, yeah, and also train the way the cost involved. Maybe a bit me a year juma duration, and I say, the year in a bit me a boy, and buy a free phone. So so I train, say, so oh, phone, oh, now your new update, be a. I say to me update no. I am not I ignore. And you say be a obi di be we a software no phone no update. 
and our computer and our update or more building into the system. A boy will overcome hackers. Same put will be person attack or call day and day night. Now they are working around the clock. Said they'll be making sure say almost so will be a best or be attack your phone. If you are no over there, I'm beating me a blocking on my boy. And I am only the update in the air. But to be sir, don't ignore. Just go ahead and update your phone system. No, said the attack is any other and get your information now. I'm not finding you funny. I have a member of my company that is a comedian. Yes, he does be brave. So I share. I mean, show. You only have be brave. You go. You only have be brave. I do what I want. So I have. Yes, so be so be subscribe. What shall I do now? No, Obi, I need to have secret information. Obi, na it's me a coach. Ne, you dey there. You dey a boy. I'm buying a free of cell phone and some. I buy a phone. So ne, yeah, computer. So I mean, show be brave. You cram. You be share you. Bye.